Um, my name is Kieran Scott. You may have seen some of the uh, press coverage that we've had recently uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, I'm actually one half of the design team um, that's responsible uh, for the original concept, what was one of my concepts, um, but now, like I said, I'm, I'm one half of um, the design team, which is myself and Francois, who's sitting at the front of the audience. Um, and this is Jerry. What do you do? What do you do, Jerry? <laughs> uh, I am the main operational guy that's dealing with all the manufacturing of phones in China. <laughs> so, so this is very um, last minute for us because um, developing a new product, um, I like if anyone does do that here, you know, you go you go through your ups and downs. Um, not everything turns uh, kind of straightforward, especially with with a mobile phone and being uh, a small startup uh, taking on um, such a big task is sort of very trying at times. Um, so. The design, making it happen. So this is actually um, the final design, which is about to go into production. And this is this is the, I guess we're not quite at the, the uh, production prototype, um, but it's the closest we've got so far. Um, we are about to go to manufacture in next month. Um, so this is the first time we've actually shown it to the, shown it to the public. Um, and. You know, going from concept to reality is, is something completely different. When we originally showed our design about uh, seven months ago, um, it was very different. Um, it still was that concept stage, and we, we got a lot of press coverage before a normal um, product startup would usually even look for press uh, for press coverage. Um, uh, I was still at uni, um, and it, it kind of just exploded, um, and we were forced to kind of run with it, which we, we were happy to do. Um, but it also meant that there was obviously changes in design, because um, when it was originally designed, there was no spec at the time, and we weren't, we weren't yet working with an ODM. Um, so it was kind of a learning process for us, but um, we, I think we've kind of, we've, we've done what we needed to do to actually get it to the market, and um, we're, we're, we're happy with the design. Um, one of, one, of, one of the things that we did to kind of to kind of stop um, to keep people kind of up to date is to ensure that we had a very good connection with our community. Um, so we've got we've actually got about 600 um, beta users, which we're about to kind of distribute our, our OS, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, for us, the, the, the devil is definitely in the detail. You can see here, this is, one, this is just a page of one of our reports that we, we send on multiple on a weekly basis. And um, a lot of the time it's in three languages. It'll be in, in, in English, it'll be in broken English, it'll be sometimes French if Francois decides to put some French words in there, and sometimes in Chinese. <laughs> um, our operating system is called Alios, and it's a very light skin um, for, for Google and Android. Um, one of the main things that I was, I was concerned with as a designer and as a user of Android handsets is, is designing a very heavy skin and trying to push out updates. It can be um, pragmatic at times. Um, so we've actually gone with a different, with a different um, strategy, and what we're actually going to do is we're we're, we've developed the actual operating system to a certain to a certain level. We're actually going to release it um, to our PT users, and we're also going to release it to the development community um, to kind of build upon it. And when we actually launch the actual handset, you'll have the choice of using iOS or you'll be able to use stock, our, our stock version of the operating system. So we want to keep that element in there because it's something that's kind of not offered. So um, as you can see from these pictures that this is basically the design process and the, I mean the production process that we go through to make the phone happen. Um, it's, it's actually quite interesting because we're combining two, two different industries, one that's a high tech, you know, out, out, outsourcing, manufacturing company, and the other industry is the bamboo industry, which is more of a traditional crafts industry. And merging these two together, you know, two different kinds of engineers talking to each other, it's quite interesting to see. But um, you, as you see here, we take raw bamboo, we turn it into a block of wood, we CNC it, we put a um, injection molded plastic um, behind it as a chassis as a structure, we put the electronics all together along with the, the case and you have the final phone. And how is it possible? I think that's what most people would be interested in knowing. It's because of the lower barrier entry to people like us. And um, the reason why is because the environment has changed over the last couple or last decades. And um, there's mature and integrated supply chain and everything has been standardized. Um, as many major manufacturers wouldn't want to admit, but they probably use all the more or less the same components. And that 
creates this environment that you know everyone uses the same thing. So as long as you have access to those components, you'll be just as good as large manufacturers. And um, also highly efficient ODMs and OEMs that can help put everything together at scale and at production scale that's larger, you know, from a couple thousand a month to millions a month. And um, of course, open source software. Um, Android has made it very possible for the small guys to basically do hardware that everyone else probably wouldn't be able to do before because there's this integration of you know hardware technology as well as software technology and it's too big of a task to do by yourself. And also um, crowdsourcing, which leads us to Kickstarter. We are going to launch in Kickstarter in the next you know couple of weeks, so keep an eye out. The benefits of crowdsourcing and crowdfunding is because of the financial support. Um, a lot of venture capitalists don't tend to invest in hardware, um, especially consumer hardware. And uh, this is basically you know getting money from your customers already to support you. And that's the best way to get your market response and community feedback as well as getting direct access to your target audience. And so um, definitely look out for us in the next couple of months, um, or next, sorry, next couple of weeks on Kickstarter. Um, our device is going to be, oh, as you'll see with Kieran's demo, it will be running um, the Samsung Exynos 4412 quad core. So it would be a quad core device. Um, it would, this one's running stock ICS. And uh, we have, what will the let Kieran talk about it. Okay, so like, like Joe said, it's running and uh, soft, but in terms of the design, we're, we're pretty much there. Um, if you've seen from kind of our, our updates, you'll see that this pretty much resembles um, what we've been, the process that we've been going through to design the actual handset. This is still a prototype, so it's still a not um, retail finish. You, we, this would be something that you kind of you push out to the retail, um, not just yet, but we are pretty much there in terms of the process. Um, so we'll be here after to answer any questions and for people to have. Okay, <laughs> I'll show you the so kind of show you the volume screen. Um, you might be able to get that as well. Okay. But you can't see it that well, but we don't have the full HD screen. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions or uh, more to pick up, right until we hear, I think for the majority of the day. Thank you very much. Brilliant. All right, so as I said, thanks a lot. Um,